Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, check out our website, hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos, we never take down. Whether they were shot two days ago or two years ago, they stay up on our channel for our subscribers to watch our content. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that vehicle comes down off of our website, letting you know it's no longer available for sale. Hankstersgarage.com. Not only do we sell and distribute automotive parts and accessories throughout the United States, more importantly, we install them. So if you'd like a different wheel and tire package on your classic car, AC, power steering, power brakes, a custom exhaust, a custom interior, custom dash, uh, pretty much anything uh, you'd like to do to your classic ride, we can do. Hankstersgarage.com. If you're local to us here in Daytona, we also do lift kits, lowering kits on trucks, Jeeps, SUVs, uh, different bumper packages, again, wheel and tire packages, lighting packages, 2385 South Ridgewood in South Daytona, Hankster's Garage. Check it out. Pontiac GTO. Today we have a 1965 uh, with a lot going for it uh, because underneath the hood you are looking at a 389. The car did start life with a 389. We do have the PHS documentation for this vehicle. We will show you that later on in the presentation. That big gold contraption in the back, that is your power brake booster. The car does have power brakes. There is a cowl tag present up on the firewall on the driver's side. We'll take a photo of that and put it on our website so you can see that. Power steering on this GTO. So we do have power steering. And just to the uh, left, well, my left, of the uh, passenger side of the block is an AC compressor. Uh, it does have AC. Power steering, power brakes, uh, AC, so a lot going for this car. Gold in color, black vinyl interior. Um, let's start out with the uh, paint on the top of the fenders, top of the hood. Um, there are a few paint flaws on this car, which I'll show you throughout the presentation. There is a discoloration here on the top of the driver's side fender in the paint. It's uh, very slight, but is there. Hopefully you can see it in the video presentation. There's a little tiny chip there out of the uh, nose on the hood. Uh, hood scoop, I guess I should say. Uh, the rest up top here look to be, uh, looks to be pretty good. The, uh, the gold on the car uh, looks nice. No uh, debris, uh, cracks in the paint, clear coat fade, anything like that going on. Uh, front bumper conditions, absolutely fantastic. Uh, looks like a newer front bumper. By the way, I don't have any restoration history on this car. When the motor was rebuilt, tranny was rebuilt, uh, car was painted, so on and so forth. So uh, what we uh, disclose in the video presentation is what we know about this particular vehicle. Uh, the grill itself looks to be in pretty good shape. Looks like it could possibly be uh, original. You know, it does have some slight patina in the black portions, um, and uh, but uh, not cracked up, uh, chipped up. Looks to be in pretty good condition, all one solid piece. Car does have red line tires on it. Uh, wheels look good, lug nuts look good, center caps look good. Everything looks uh, new from the wheel and tire perspective. Nice set of red lines on there. Uh, Driver side front fender, real nice condition paint wise, uh, both high and low. There's your uh, GTO badge, the iconic GTO badge on the driver side front fender. Uh, your wheel opening moldings on the car look real nice. Uh, the front windshield on the car um, looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, no chips, no cracks. Uh, there is some faint scratching over here on the top on the passenger side. Um, you know, again, I think there's a lot of originality to this car. I think there's some partial restoration things such as the grill, uh, the front window. Um, and by the way, PHS docs, this car did start life gold. This car did start life with a black vinyl interior. It did start life with a 389. And we're going to show you here shortly, it's a center console four speed car and it did start life as a manual shift car as well. Driver's side door. Uh, door fitment alignment is real nice on the car. Uh, you can see that the uh, body lines, the, the door fitment uh, from the top of the fender uh, to the rocker panel and then from the top of the rear quarter to the rocker panel, uh, your gaps here are nice and uniform um, from top to bottom. No issues going on paint wise at the bottom of the uh, driver door. Um, the uh, color, the clear, all laid uniform, no blisters, no cracks, no bubbles in the paint. 
Uh, once again, glass condition, uh, quarter window, driver window, vent window, um, all, you know, your typical faint little scratches, uh, uh, commonly what you see in a, uh, you know, classic car, but nothing terrible whatsoever. Clarity is pretty decent. Opening up the driver door, door panel's in good shape. Uh, black armrest door panel, paint, carpet, everything in the car looks to be in real nice shape. Back seat. These are the uh, PHS stocks. We'll uh, show you. I'll take those out when I'm on the test drive. We'll show you that so it's a little uh, more light out there. You can see them better. We'll have a picture of them on the website as well. The uh, seat condition in the back seat is absolutely fantastic. Looks like a newer interior. Um, again, you know, I feel this car was a partial uh, restoration or, you know, pieces of it were done over time. When people restore cars, it can all be done at once or in a three, four, five, six, seven, ten year period, or it can be done, you know, over the course of 15, 20 years. And I think that's what this car was uh, done. I don't have any proof of that, but that's my feeling on it. Um, back seat, carpet conditions, real nice. It has some cool, uh, real nice GTO floor mats in it, kind of nice offset there, the black versus the uh, gold uh, floor mats. Uh, seat condition on the uh, driver's side, real nice. Once again, no rips or tears in the vinyl. Center console, four speed. Always nice to have a four, four speed in the GTO. Uh, the I'm not going to yank it completely out because see it's around the uh, accelerator pedal up there. I don't feel like messing with that. But uh, carpet condition underneath the uh, floor mat, real nice shape on the driver's side. Uh, floor mats look to be somewhat newer. Those are in good shape as well. Uh, wood steering wheel, nice shape. Dash looks to be in good shape. Headliner appears to be, if not brand new, newer. No rips, tears, holes, anything funky going on with those. Same thing with the sun visors. Sun visors look good in the car. Good stuff. Paint on the uh, roof. Uh, looks to be pretty good. Uh, the paint on the car, in my opinion, probably uh, eight. Um, there are some blemishes in the paint we'll show you throughout the presentation, but uh, overall up top roof looks pretty good. Uh, no issues going on up there. Same thing with the drop downs to the rear quarters. And the rear quarter itself looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, both high and low. Uh, the wheels look fantastic. Beauty rings, center caps, lug nuts, uh, red lines, everything's in real nice shape there. No issues at the rear quarter here down low. Deck lid. So the 65, R65 GTO has a real big quarter panel here. So uh, you need a big deck lid to cover the trunk. So the uh, deck lid on this car paints nice. Um, fitment's good. Uh, rear window clarity, I'm actually surprised, is pretty nice. Uh, well, the reason I say that is because, you know, the back window is something that generally when people do restorations, they never take it out, and that's the one that always gets messed up. Usually the door glass and the quarter glass, those come out, but the rear window never does. This one's nice and clear. Hat rack area, speaker shelf, whatever you want to call that in a nice shape. Top of the back seat, you can see it's not torn up or ripped or faded or anything like that. The back of our GTO is fantastic as well. Rear bumper in great condition. Curse badge there on the uh, driver's side of the deck lid. Uh, your rear uh, bumper area here, uh, you know, there's around your uh, brake lights and in your center balance there is, uh, you know, slight patina. Once again, I feel it very well possibly could be original, which in my opinion is a great thing. Think about it. If this thing looks that good from 1965, you know, how was the rest of the car taken care of? So, and you can look at it, you know, two ways. And then you can say, I don't want patina in my rear valance. I want a new one. You can do that too. We do have a new trunk mat that we put in there. So uh, no jack, no spare in this car. Uh, the trunk is solid. You see no uh, rust issues, holes, anything going on like that. It's in nice shape. Nice large trunk to put your lawn chairs in, your cooler in. Uh, rear quarter, driver's side rear quarter, um, passenger side rear quarter, same as the driver's side is what I wanted to say. 
Uh, there's no issues uh, down low here. Uh, no blistering, no cracking, no bubbling, no funky blisters or protrusions coming out of the uh, rear quarter. Or your GTO emblem there looks to be in good shape. Exhaust is coming out underneath the rear quarter. Red lines, beauty rings. Take a look at the uh, still photos of the wheels and tires on the website. Um, they're all there up close so you guys can blow them up. Um, paint, once again, on the roof and the drop downs to the rear quarter in pretty good shape. Glass clarity on the passenger side, uh, you know, average. It's not terrible, but it's not perfect either. So uh, take a look at the photos in the video. But uh, just some faint scratching, which is typical of, you know, a car of this age. There is a slight paint discoloration down here, maybe where somebody tried to match some paint. Um, it's the same over on the top of the driver's side fender. Once again, it's very faint, but it is there, so be aware of that. Um, the passenger side door down low looks good. There's no uh, bubbles, blisters, cracks, anything funky going on there. How about we pop open the passenger side door and take a look? Once again, door panel is the same as the driver's side. Nice shape. Armrest, door panel. Uh, passenger side seat, grab bar, glove box. All in nice condition. We'll take a closer look at the center console and the uh, dash area when we're on the uh, test drive. By the way, no radio in the car. <clears throat> so what I kind of used to do is just have, you know, a slew of radios sitting around, and I used to just jam them in the... Uh, uh, dash there so that there wasn't an empty spot but a lot of people you know they're going with these retro radios nowadays and we'll just leave it blank and or empty I guess I should say and you can put what you want in there. Uh, GTO badge on the uh, passenger side front fender be aware that there are a couple little paint chips right there on the car on the uh, passenger side door there's no uh, paint issues down here uh, below your GTO emblem where you normally have an issue. Uh, up top here on the uh, passenger side front fender in nice shape. Your wheel opening moldings fit nicely and the chrome's nice on them. So that is a quick walk around of our 1965 GTO with PHS docks, with power steering, with power brakes, with a 389, with AC, Car definitely has a lot going for it so uh, we're going to continue our presentation by taking the car outside and putting it on the rack checking out the undercarriage and after that we will drive it everything we are doing in this video presentation you can do in person when you visit our showroom here in daytona beach which i suggest i strongly suggest that you do uh, this way you can look at this 1965 gto or any other piece of inventory we have in person there's only so much we can show you in a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. But when you're here and you visit our showroom, you can spend an hour or two on the car if you'd like to. You can drive it. We'll put it on the rack for you if you want. You can uh, look at the paint real good out in the sunshine. You can open and close the doors, pop the hood, pop the trunk, roll the windows up and down, all that stuff. This way, when the vehicle shows up, wherever you're located in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car in its entirety for yourself. At the end of the day, we are an internet-based business. We conduct the majority of our transactions sight unseen. People wire us money and people have lending options in place to fund us for these cars without ever coming to see them, which is fine. We do probably eight out of every 10 deals that we do are done in that manner. However, if you never owned a classic car before, let us explain to you some of the responsibilities that come with owning one of these vehicles what type of oil to use, how to properly store the car, um, you know, how to properly adjust carburetors if you're in different elevations than we are where we're eight feet above sea level. If you're in Colorado and you're 3,000 feet above sea level, there might be some, you know, different things that you have to do to the car. Uh, you know, what type of oil to use, what type of gas to use, things like that. Um, again, if it's your first classic car purchase, or uh, it's been a long time since you owned a classic car, visit us in person, meet our sales staff face to face, check out our awesome showroom here, tour our entire inventory, and uh, take a preview of whatever vehicle that you might be interested in. Hopefully we can put a deal together, shake hands, 
maybe grab a t-shirt or a hat out of the gift shop and uh, go out to dinner here in Daytona somewhere on the water. Have a nice view after you purchase your classic car from Hankster's Hot Rods. Let's take our 1965 GTO outside. We'll put it up in the air and check out the undercarriage. And after that, we'll do a short little test drive to show you how the car runs. Underneath our 65 GTO, you have disc brakes up front. You can get a good shot of the front of the motor, um, front seal and front of the uh, oil pan gasket there. And let's see if we can, yeah, see, so I don't know if you can see up there, that freeze plug looks real good up there. Passenger side freeze plug, you got a good uh, shot of. You can see that there, directly below the manifold. You see the oil pan gasket right there, all nice and dry. Car looks good underneath. Uh, continuing back, uh, we're going to take a look at a couple different things, exhaust, transmission, uh, frame rails. So let's start with the frame rails. Uh, driver's side, passenger's side, both look to be in fantastic condition. The car looks like it's had a set of floor pans. The floor pans are in fantastic shape and whoever put them in did a nice job. Um, they are uh, one solid piece throughout. and. Uh, they're really nicely done. The um, starter is blocking the uh, driver's side of the rear of the pan, and then I got the exhaust in my way over here. But So we didn't paint this block. Uh, this is how we got the car, and it's a fresh paint. So when you're re usually when you're rebuilding the motor and you have the motor out of the car, you paint the block, you know, make everything all fresh and nice and neat. So. Although we don't have any documentation on the car, um, it tells you that probably the motor has been done somewhat recently. Your exhaust pipes uh, look good on both sides, driver's side and passenger side. The welds are nicely done. Uh, pipes are uh, solid, no rust holes, rod holes, pin holes, anything like that going on. So uh, all good stuff. Let's continue back here. Um, looks like, let me get there. Yep, Flowmaster mufflers. So you got Flowmaster mufflers on the car, drum brakes in the rear. Let's take a look at the uh, rear frame rails. I'm standing underneath the passenger side, so we'll start with that one. Looks good here on the passenger side. And while we're here, take a quick look at the tire condition. So our red line tires, uh, plenty of tread. And so on your classic cars, you got to not only worry about tread depth, but you have to also worry about tire age. So there's no um, any kind of dry rot or cracking in between those tires. So that tells you they're newer uh, tires. Expensive tires too, by the way. Uh, rear end looks good, no leaks there. Um, all your, not much you can see with the rear end and the exhaust in the way. And look at the fantastic job like on the welds and the pipe going over the exhaust or the over the rear end uh, for the exhaust system. Really nicely done. Um, frame rail on the driver's side looks as nice as the passenger side. What else do we want to show you? I think that's about it. It's a nice car underneath, it really is. 1965 Pontiac GTO 389 four speed. We're gonna drop it down on the ground, we're gonna take it on a test drive. Before we do that, let's discuss how to pay for this vehicle. If you're a cash buyer, we still do take cashier's checks. However, more commonly, uh, it's a bank wire transfer. We're all doing things, you know, wireless remotely nowadays, uh, ACHs, debits, you know, uh, wire transfers, Zelle, PayPal, whatever you name it. So um, bank wire transfers generally are most common form of payment. We get several per day. If you're financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do five to 15 year loans on these classic cars. Your approval time term is going to be based on credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car, you know, everything and anything an underwriter looks for in a normal loan, whether it be a home loan, a boat loan, an RV loan, a whatever loan. But uh, no prepayment penalty. So if you get approved for 10 years on this 65 GTO and you paid off in two, they aren't going to penalize you for doing so. So that makes it nice to own one of these classics as well. 10% um, down is going to be your minimum. They may require more if your credit's a little subpar or shaky, but 10% is going to be the minimum even if your credit score is $9 million. Um, they are going to require 10%. So if you're talking about a $50,000 car, you're talking about five grand down our pocket. Uh, once the car is funded in full, we put the car through a pre-delivery inspection process. 
the car gets uh, you know, lug nut torque check, tire pressure, reverse lights, brake lights, tail lights, wipers, horn, you know, all that stuff. They're old cars. Anything can start leaking. Anything can stop working at any given moment. So we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. Once it's through inspection, the car goes through detail and then a carrier is dispatched. Uh, typically, we can have a truck here within 48 hours if we are the ones handling the shipping. However, it may be three, four, five business days um, if you're in a more difficult destination or if there's a holiday in there or something like that. But I promise you, we have this down to a science. Uh, we will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as possible. And if you're handling your own shipping or you're coming to get the car yourself, we'll let you know when it's done and you can come get it. Let's set our 65 GTO down on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive and show you how the car runs out. Let's start with the important stuff first, PHS docks. Okay, Capri Gold. That's the color of the car. Black interior. 389. I think I said it already, but this 389 is out of a 66, so it's not the uh, correct 389, but it is the correct motor. Um, it started life with a three speed manual, but it now has a four speed manual. Okay? So the PHS docks will come with the car. And also, there will be a photo <coughs> on our website. Let me stick these back in here. Do you guys notice that we are in July in Florida and uh, windows are up? It's because that vintage air is blowing ice cold. Told you in the showroom there's a hole in the dash, so put your radio of choice there. Horn. Horn button on the dash. Ignition is to the left of the steering wheel. Fuel gauge is working, reading half. Um, 62,967 is the mileage on the odometer. Title is exempt. True miles unknown. Do we have a functioning tack? We do. Check that out. Wipers. Gauges. Oil, temp, four speed, vacuum gauge. There was something mounted here, I don't know what. Uh, there's two holes there, so uh, be aware of that. We didn't take whatever it was that was there off, it's just, it's there. So I told you in the showroom there's a couple scratches on this side of the windshield. You know, if you don't like the scratches, we can put a new windshield in it for you. It's about Anywhere from three to four hundred bucks, we can negotiate that in the deal, in case that's an option for you. But the windshield is scratched. Headliner's fantastic. Car's idling real nice. Let's go drive. It, see how it runs. This car runs awesome. So the uh, speedo is functioning. Not sure if you, you guys can see that with the sun glare and the shadows or not, uh, but it is accurate, it is functioning, it's not bouncing around. The uh, car tracks nice and straight, nice and tight. The uh, AC in the car is blowing ice cold. Our temps right about where we should be, 190-ish. It is hot in Daytona today, so keep that in mind. Uh, the response in the throttle is fantastic. Car brakes super nice too. We'll come uh, up to this traffic light and we'll show you that here in just a moment. Oh, I didn't show you turn signals. There's my turn signal. It's the same indicator for both driver and passenger, so they both work. It's just one indicator signal uh, for both of them. Forgot to show you guys. I think I didn't think I showed you that. So. That's 60, I'm gonna shut it off there. Car has real good acceleration to it. 
no vibration in the steering wheel, no vibration in the shifter popping out of gear, no tire vibration up front from the red lines. The car tracks nice and straight, 50 miles an hour. It's a nice car. It is a driver quality 1965 GTO. Uh, Right color for the PHS docks, right motor. It's not a three speed, it's a four speed, but I'm sure you guys don't want a three speed. Uh, rides real nice, air blows ice cold, power steering, power brakes, PHS docks, nice interior, nice seats, nice floor mats. Um, everything's functioning, plop in your own radio. Brakes. Again, no pulsation, no vibration. Good car. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. By the way, our temp. Keep in mind, it is... We're about 94, 95 today with the humidity. Um, it's definitely over 100. So um, the GTO, you know, running right where it should be. 190, 195-ish. Even 200 is okay. You know, anything over 200, you want to be starting to keep an eye on it, but 386-944-9219 uh, is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach, tanksters.com is our website, it's where you can find all the photos of this 65 GTO today, along with this video presentation you're watching right now. The full retail price, our 65 GTO includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. It covers the internal components. So it's not going to cover like an oil pan gasket leak. It's not going to cover a power steering leak. It's not going to cover brake pads. It's not going to cover a battery. All that stuff's on you. It does cover your major mechanical breakdowns, though. The warranty is good at any ASD certified facility in the United States. So you don't have to take it to us or bring it to us. You don't have to uh, take it to a Chevy dealership or a General Motors dealership. You don't have to uh, take it to a special muscle car restoration center. You can probably take it to that same person that's working on your daily driver, seeing as how most facilities are ASC certified, that are independent and franchised. Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. Time is money. We have to employ somebody to set up your shipping logistics. So, we set up the pickup. We set up the delivery. We make sure the uh, drivers properly license the carrier car. We pay the driver when they pick the car up. At a negotiated cost, you're gonna do that like work yourself. Maybe you have your own open or enclosed trailer. You're more than welcome to come to Daytona Beach and trailer your home on your own. And of course, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you can drive this GTO home because you can do it with the windows up. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Yes, we do export these vehicles as well, and we can assist you with that whole process from start to finish. Hangsters Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida. Hangsters.com. Check us out.